These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns between various types of irregular verbs so that you can use them properly. Verbs like sting. This video will help you see relationships among various types of irregular verbs in English. The key to understanding irregular verbs is to look for and notice the patterns. With verbs like sting, it follows a very similar pattern, but there's one small difference here. You will have the sound shifts, and you notice these sound shifts are a little bit different. Verbs like sting shift vowel sounds in the past and the past participle, usually from i or e to a. Uh. The short U sound is commonly pronounced uh in English. Let's look at some examples. We'll start with the verb sing. Now this is one we mentioned before and we're going to let you see it again to show you the comparison of these different kinds of words. Okay, with sing, it changes in the past and changes again in the past participle. Sing, sang, sung. With spring, we have two forms. Spring, sprang, sprung, or in the past, it can be spring, sprung, sprung. Now this is kind of a transition verb between sing, sang, sung until the next one. Cling, clung, clung. Now you'll notice that the difference here is that in the past tense and the past participle, the sounds are the same. With sing, sang, sung, the past is different from the past participle. With cling, clung, clung, the past and the past participle are the same. So you have things like fling, flung, flung, sling, slung, slung. Okay? Now, when we get to the verb hang, this is a special case which depends on the meaning of the verb. For example, if we're talking about hanging up our clothes or hanging a picture, you could say hang, hung, hung. But if you're talking about hanging a person in order to execute them, the verb hanged is used, which is the regular form instead of hung. Now the one I want to mention here that confuses a lot of people is the verb bring. Now with bring, it does not follow the same pattern. We don't say bring, bring, brung, or even bring, brung, brung. For some reason, this uses a different ending in the past, in the past participle. So with bring, it is bring, brought, brought, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Some more verbs which fit this particular pattern, as verbs like sting, don't have an ng ending, but they follow the same pronunciation pattern. E, a, uh, a, uh, or i, a, uh, a. Uh. For example, dig, dug, dug. Spin, spun, spun. Stick, stuck, stuck. Strike, struck, struck. Now, with struck, sometimes we use the past participle stricken, 